Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, when the 2018 Farm Bill was done, what, what was the CBL score for Thrifty Food? Uh, I believe the CBO I, is. I can't recall whether CBO gave it no score or a. Uh, yeah, so a it was. Not, it was not scored. Not, it was not a cost. So that was the <clears throat> congressional understanding that it would be at no cost. I'm sure USDA provided input to CBO concerning it, and so again we had a, a no cost score, and yet this cost 250 billion dollars. So I guess the question is, who identified the Thrifty Food Plan reevaluation as a means to increase the SNAP benefit le levels? Senator, I, I think that's not how the sequence occurred. We went about undertaking the evaluation again. Who's we? Uh, sorry, FNCS. The secretary and I worked with the team yeah. in providing direction, but we were, we set forth and I believe we accomplished a sound evidence-based process to update the Thrifty relative to those four criteria. When the team set about doing it, they found they could not update it without uh, occurring a cost in terms of reflecting current price data, the new DGAs, uh, food and the uh, food consumption and nutrients in food. So I've got section 4002. You mentioned the four criteria. Cost is not part of this. I'm sorry? Cost is not part of this. That's correct. Okay. So again, you've got a CBL score zero, congressional intent zero, USDA's uh, help, you know, in regarding to what was going on zero, and yet you increased it two hundred fifty billion dollars without any congressional interaction whatsoever. In response to the findings of GAO, USDA indicated that the TFP reevaluation could have increased SNAP benefits by even a larger amount. What was the maximum increase that could have been applied to the, in the reevaluation, and how is it determined to cap the increase at a quarter of a trillion dollars? Again, Senator, that's not how we approached the, um, the question. The question was to solve solve for what is our best estimate of a healthy budget conscious diet. Had we, for example, um, allowed a wider array, uh, we, and for example, we, uh, when we were pulling the scanner data and the prices for different categories of food, it was the lowest cost food in each category where there was, and so for, if we had allowed all foods uh, in a particular category, um, then that would have increased the cost. But we were very mindful that the word thrifty is a part of uh, the plan, and it is intended to right. be a low cost. But, but you felt like you had the authority to go ahead and do the higher categories if you wanted to. No, I think the, the, the law makes clear that we were meant to design and, and for the past 45 years have had a low cost budget. We were wanted to, we, we made decisions in keeping with where we've been for the past four decades. You just asked me a hypothetical and I gave you a hypothetical yeah. answer. Well, for the past 40 years or whatever, it's been cost neutral. Prior updates have been cost neutral, but right. they have not been done with the directive of the statute. So it's my understanding that uh, USDA recently hired a new SNAP director, Catherine Burig. Yes. And there are questions as to whether she will relocate to Washington, D.C. from Pennsylvania. SNAP is one of the largest entitlement programs in the federal government. What is uh, her official duty station? Is her position officially a remote duty station? If so, can you explain how Ms. Burig will operate a program that spends more than $100 billion annually? We're delighted to have Kathy Burek join us. She's been the SNAP director for Pennsylvania for many years. She's an incredibly uh, talented and experienced leader. Uh, all of our national office SES work out of our Braddock Road uh, office in Alexandria, and uh, she will be there consistent with her other peers. I, you asked a very detailed question, so we can get with respect to, uh, so we can get back to you on that. Uh, so our duty station's gonna be there. She's not working remotely. Uh, no, some, I mean, I will say some staff do telework, uh, or if she's traveling, she will need to be uh, working right. from a, another location. But yes, she'll be working out of Braddock Road, uh, our Braddock Road office in Alexandria. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair.